Hello again guys and here's another tutorial for Motion 5 and Final Cut Pro. Um, in this one we're going to be looking at how to generate um, a fold out kind of title. So we're going to actually use Motion 5, so if you go ahead and open it up, uh, and we're going to use a Final Cut um, title. So you want to select that, so not a motion project, we're going to go for Final Cut title. And what this will allow us to do, like it says over here, is create a new motion title and we can publish it and use it in Final Cut Pro itself. Um, so whenever we create these title projects here, we don't actually have to export it and import it into our Final Cut Pro project like we did previously um, with the Cube project we did. In this, we uh, will just create it and when we save it, it will show up automatically in Final Cut Pro um, in our list of um, available titles. So we'll go Final Cut Pro title um, and go open and this is what we're given by default now I don't want the title background so I'm going to remove that and I'm also going to remove this default text so we're back to a, a plain um, stage here we'll just go to fit so we can see everything and uh, we're going to add in some text so the effect of this is going to be um, like the the title is folding out um, so we're going to fold the text in half and it's going to fold out in, in, in three dimensions. But we're going to start off just in the two-dimensional editor. So we'll add in some text and we'll call this Motion 5. Uh, we'll go over to our inspector and let's um, change this to a bold. And we'll just increase our size a little bit so it fills up our stage. There we go. And we'll just center that up. So there is our basic text. And you'll see it shows up here in our group. We'll call this um, folding text group. And this is our base text. Now we're going to create uh, two clone layers. So you do a, a, a right click or a, a double tap. Um, we have two fingers for make clone layer. And so then we end up with two more, and we'll hide those, uh, we'll just expose one of them for now. And what we're going to want to do with this is go down to, in our um, properties, inspector, we're going to want to turn on the crop, and we will crop the bottom, um, sorry, the top part of this. Now you want to take note by how much we actually are able to crop it. We can crop it 200, 200 and how much before it disappears? So it's gonna be say 209. So we want to actually try and get that into an even number. So we want to try and get that to 210. So let's go back to our um, base text here and we'll increase our size to 275. So now we'll go back to these here. Now any changes that we make to our base text will be uh, reflected in our cloned text also. Just um, as a key point to take note of. So again, we'll go back then to um, our properties and go to crop this. And now hopefully we should be able to crop it to an even number, which would be 210. Okay. Uh, the reason we want to do that is because we, we want to crop the bottom half and the top half. So we need to know uh, where the halfway point is. So... Um, the halfway point on this would be uh, 105. So let's crop it to um, 105 from the top, and then we'll turn that off. We go to our uh, we go to our other um, one, and this will go to crop. And from the bottom, we also want to do 105. So now, when we display both of those together, it looks like a complete text. But actually, what we've got is two halves 
of the same text. Now the one, one last thing we want to do is move that anchor point of this. The anchor point um, for the top, which we're going to be folding, we want it to rotate around its base. We don't want it to rotate around the bottom. So you can see the anchor point is currently there. So we're going to want to move the anchor point on the y-axis until we're lined up approximately with our corner there. Pretty much as close as we can get it. We want to uh, have our y-axis in line with that. So we'll just shift it a little bit more. So our anchor point is nicely lined up there. Zoom out again, back to our fit. Okay, so once we've moved that anchor point, you'll see now our text is overlaid on top of each other. So we're going to want to move this back to its original place. So we don't have any gap in between. See, we've got a line there. We want to try and avoid that. Um, well, it depends. I mean, you, you, you can also do it with the line um, if you want that type of effect. It would be um, a bit like a, a, f a flip, flip, flipping clock. Um, but I actually would like to have no gap. So we'll just adjust this. There, so it all lines up nicely. Okay, so we've got our two halves and we've got our anchor point set. And now we're ready to go into 3D. So we've got, we'll add a camera to the scene, switch to 3D. We can rotate our camera around then to uh, where we want it. And now we're ready to start with our animation. So we'll select the top half of the text there. And uh, in our properties, we want to open up our rotation. And we're going to want to add into here a start point for our rotation. And the start point for our rotation, we're going to want to rotate it in the... Um, X axis and I want it to fold down so we want to have minus 180 and that's going to be our start point and if we go forward 10 frames and we turn this back to zero uh, that's our animation simple as that and there's our text folding up and that's it um, very straightforward simple effect to achieve um, if you wanted, we could also fold it in, in, in um, the longitudinal way, so you could open it like a book as well. We could do both. You would just repeat a similar type of steps, um, cropping and then folding out in whichever direction you want it to go. Um, so that's it. Uh, now you may ask, what if you want to change the text? Well, that's very, very easy to do because, we, because we've got this base text here. We just go back to that, double click it. And then we can change the text in here. And when we've done that, it will automatically update all our other clones. So when we go back to our camera view, you'll see there we have exactly the same effect being applied, but to different text. And this will be the same when we open it up in Final Cut Pro. You'll be able to edit the text however you like. And... Once it's done, it'll be applied across everything, and there we have it. So now to get it into Final Cut Pro, very simple. We just go to Save As. I'm going to save this in my title tutorials, and we'll save this as um, Folding Title. Uh, no theme, um, and that's it. So we'll save a preview movie also, so it'll load quicker when we want to preview it in um, Final Cut Pro. And we just go to Publish. And then it will um, just 
export out and it will export as a, um, a movie also which will just be the, uh, the preview and once that's done then uh, when we open up Final Cut Pro we'll be able to see it in there so let's go ahead now and fire up Final Cut Pro just bear with me a moment while that opens up And then we would just go to our text generators and we go to my title tutorials and there you see we have um, our title there. So we would just then drag this into our project or wherever we want it to be placed. We can edit its length as we do with uh, you know, uh, the ripple editor and there we have it. There's our effect so we can um, also then change text parameters here in Final Cut Pro so we can change the font we can change our text size um, so we could change this say if we want a different type of uh, style to the text we can apply different um, styles to it On. so we can choose different fonts some fonts though aren't going to line up exactly with our with our gap in the middle you can see some do some don't it all depends on the font type um, so you can change the font we can also change then the um, the face color We could give the text an outline. So there's lots of things you can then still do to it within Final Cut Pro to actually um, edit it yourself. We can also then you know change the position of the uh, of everything. If we go to our uh, video. We can change its location within our shot. And then we'll just wait for that to render out so we can um, preview it. Okay, and there we go. There's our um, fold-out text effect. It's it's jumping out a little bit fast because we um, we use the ripple editor to shorten it. So if we lengthen it a little bit, you see it folds out slower. Um, so there you go. Uh, I hope this was of some use to you. And um, don't forget to follow along on my YouTube channel. So you can keep up to date with uh, new tutorials and uh, tips and tricks for Final Cut Pro and Motion 5. Thanks for tuning in.